<laughs> All right. All right. It's the worldly show. I'm singing the worldly show with Jeff and Tim. It's Jeff and Tim. Hey, it's the worldly show with Jeff and Tim. I'm one of your hosts, hey. Tim Buffin. I am here with my co host and band leader, Jeff Sheen. Can you hear it? No, no one can <laughs> hear it. It sucks every week. We do it every week and it sucks. <laughs> I mean, Jeff, I'm not going to change a thing. <laughs> I know you're not going to change. I've I've known you for what six years. You haven't changed a single thing. Nope. But speaking I'm of change, you. yep. Jeff, of- we're, we got to get to our first segment of the show. Yep. That's where you and I catch up. Even though we've hung out with each other twice this week, we still have to catch up. We still got to catch up. Going on. So, Jeff, what have you been up to since we hung out on Monday? Oh, since I hung out, actually, I went uh, went rafting. Down the Delaware, you went ra- well, oh, just like George uh, Washington. Mm-hmm. Yep, rented a raft. Me, John, and Matt, we just uh, floated down the river at a paddle. Hurt myself as a little raft wound. Oh, how'd you hurt yourself? I slipped on a rock when I was, I was walking, and I, I fell. And I landed on another one. I scraped my little hand. Ah, oh, that sucks. Mm-hmm. Did you guys get uh, drunk? Yeah, we got a little. Yeah, we we drank a little bit. They said, you know. They were all almost like, we don't know if we're going to be able to do it because the bacteria levels were high. <laughs> bacteria levels in the water? Yeah, but apparently they were a little high. But then they called us that morning and said, you know what? The sun must have cooked them off because they're back to low. Oh, good. <laughs> the botulism the botulism river didn't get to you guys. Yeah, so I swam in there, cut myself with the bacteria water. I haven't lost the hand yet. <laughs> That's good. You should immediately start taking antibiotics. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm no doctor. Yeah. How was your? What did you do? Anything? No, I haven't done. Well, I went to Tyler. I went. I went to a, a friend of the show, Tyler Snodgrass's house today. Yeah. Helped him, helped him hang his bike. Put a little bike hanger up on his wall. Helped him hang his uh, guitar. I built a. I built an outdoor box for my outdoors to hold stuff when it rains. It's a waterproof box. Oh, so you got. So you can throw all your stuff in there. Yeah, because you came over, you saw how much stuff we have out there now. It's a, yeah. it's a, it's a playground of fun for adults in my backyard. You got to squeeze a shed in that backyard. I know. We Well, that's what we got the big box for instead of the shed. All right, get a big box, get some cornhole, you know. Yeah, so the but- Cornhole, that's what we need is some cornhole. And then we need to get, of course, an outdoor television. Yep, get an outdoor TV, some cornhole, and then we can really have our buffalo wild wings in your yard. God damn, that would be the sickest shit in the world, dude. That's, that's the dream. Outdoor, Mike, do you know how pissed off Micah would be if every Sunday people were over here watching football? Does it matter? You got an outdoor Buffalo Wild Wings. Dude, she'd be like, she'd be like, hey, I'm trying to read these feminist novels while you guys are out here broing down. You know, it'd be- she, she is always reading her feminist novels, you know, yeah. like uh, uh, I don't Kill know. a Mockingbird. <laughs> to kill a mockingbird is your <laughs> feminist novel. I'm pretty sure that's anti-racism, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, you know, sc- it was written a by woman. a woman. Mm-hmm. So Agatha right. Christie books. Yep. <laughs> Slaughterhouse Five. That's right. Slaughterhouse Five. The uh, I was gonna say something bad, but I didn't. Michael uh, Crichton's uh, Jurassic Park. <laughs> Michael Crichton's Jurassic Park. She's like, uh, you know, the raptors are actually um uh, the women and they're trying to take down the patriarchy. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, they do oh, use female uh, raptors. Yeah, that's uh, so it's a feminist book. Yeah, she's like, you know, women can actually open doors now. That's what she says to mm-hmm. me. And open close the them on raptors. <laughs> yeah, well, she's talking about the doors of opportunity. But oh yeah, yeah. Easiest way to stop raptors: doorknobs. <laughs> that's right. They got they got the. Uh, anyways, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to, I hurt my finger right before the show. Oh, gee, what happened? Well, I didn't really hurt it. I pulled a hangnail out and it started bleeding. Oh, bud. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my favorite pastime is pulling stuff out of my fingers till they bleed. Um, <laughs> Anyways, let's switch over. Uh... Well, yeah, we got to switch over. We started a little late today, but we didn't have much to catch up on because we hung out twice mm-hmm. already this week. Um, but we do have to get to our second uh, segment of the show. I think the most beloved segment of the show. This is a hot sec. Monologue jokes. 
Now, this is a part of the show where I, an almost illiterate man, try to blindly read monologue jokes Jeff has written, and we have gotten submissions from. Do we get three different people submitting today? Yeah, we got three people. We got uh, some regulars. My cousin popped yeah. in. First of all, sit up. You're like, <laughs> half your face is out of the screen. Quit lounging. You <laughs> I want to lounge and make it seem natural. <laughs> so uh there was an f so that's six f's six oh did you drop did you uh, you're at six f's yeah you made me do it with your bad posture but i'm at six f's so i'm gonna have to donate six dollars i'm gonna at the end of the month for however, however many f's we have i'm gonna donate uh to something or are we doing <laughs> um uh collective f's over a month i thought yeah. it was per f okay well, well who wants five dollars i'll just do it all at once I mean, you hit the streets in New York, you'll find somebody. <laughs> You're an idiot. So anyways, <laughs> I'm an illiterate man, and uh, this is Monologue Jokes, where I blindly read monologue jokes submitted by fans, comedians, and the first ones I'm going to read are submitted by you. Right, Jeff? Mm-hmm. I wrote some good ones today. Well, then, you said uh, that last week, and you were right. You got. I, I remember I watched today's monologue jokes because I had to edit it and put it on YouTube, but you got a four out of five. Mm-hmm. as of uh, last week. So the only way place you can go is to five out of five, which you don't even really want to go there because then all you can do is go down. So here we go. All right. Let's start it up. A group of unmasked teens to, oh, a group of unmasked teens took over an NYC bus and held a party, making it almost as dangerous as a real party bus. No protection of that. And you got chlamydia. <laughs> Jeff, what? Wait, did I, what I say of that? Yeah. Oh, well, that's, I wrote that one wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to tell the audience, Jeff's not like good at spelling or writing. <laughs> He's gotten better throughout the well, time. Like a, but, you know. They were like party on a bus and no mask. And everyone's like, this is dangerous. And I was like, real party bus, even more dangerous. Chlamydia. Yeah, real party bus, even more dangerous. No protection from chlamydia. There we go. Yeah. I, I took out uh, seven words to get to chlamydia, but you know, uh, listen, I'm not going to try to tell you what to do. I don't write these jokes, but you're losing points by the second. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> AMC is reopening its theaters next week with 15 cent tickets, making America's 1918 Spanish flu cosplay complete. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's fun. Yeah, because you go, you get your cheap tickets, you go watch a little movie, you know, there's a Looney Tune at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like we're back in the old days. Yeah. Your grandpa's cool. coughing up blood. <laughs> yeah, everybody's <laughs> coughing up blood. They're 28. They're dying from <laughs> sepsis and, and, you know, black lung. Yep. Back how America used to be. Mm-hmm. San Francisco 49ers have reached a record $75 million deal for a tight end. You can never spend enough on a tight end in San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, that's good. Oh, that was pretty funny. <laughs> that's pretty funny. A lot of people are going to say you're homophobic for writing it, but not me. I thought it was funny. Hey, I write for you. <laughs> <laughs> and we all know I don't think anything's offensive. Uh, <laughs> Georgia police seized a state record $8 million in heroin. Now their state motto is ruined. Enjoy a Georgia peach, then bruise, <laughs> bruise like... Oh, Jesus, Jeff. This is tough. You got it. Now their state motto is ruined. Enjoy your... En- oh, fuck. No, you got... No, nope, right, that's seven. Damn it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Damn it. Enjoy yeah. a Georgia peach, then bruise like one from missing veins with your heroin needle. <laughs> that's... It's a long way to go. Yeah, but it's fun because it, you bruise like a Georgia peach, you know? If you were I mean, you're better I mean, at rolling up... Like, we've all seen train spotting. I get it. Sure. Yeah, but if you could read, I mean, that would have really just rolled right off. <laughs> well, if I could read, I wouldn't be doing a show with you. That's true. This is, you're out here going, a Georgia peach should then... Uh, <laughs> it starts with an R? <laughs> <laughs> My when I read, people are like, "Is his Zoom messed up?" Like it sounds <laughs> because I have the pausing of someone going in and out on their Zoom. North Korean millennials are wearing makeup to rebel to a oh, rebel. Oh my God, you are a moron, Timbo. <laughs> North Korean millennials are wearing makeup to rebel against the state. You're under arrest. 
for looking too damn good <laughs> than firing squad. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> yeah, but at least they look there. cool when they're dying. Yeah, a bunch of, bunch of good-looking people out there getting arrested. Like, that's a lot of look. I liked this. I liked this joke. It wasn't much of a joke, but the then firing squad part was funny to me. Yeah, because that's really what happens. Sad state of affairs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, North Korea, man, they really know how to get things settled. Yeah, they could use a Bernie Sanders. Yeah. No, no more <laughs> internment camps. I don't I don't do a Bernie Sanders. <laughs> that was your I, Bernie? I don't think Catholic people are allowed to imitate Jews. <laughs> not anymore. Not North Korea. <laughs> That's true. I'll get in firing squad. <laughs> yeah. Your Bernie Sanders thing was too cool and they'll shoot me. <laughs> Astronomers find a galaxy similar to the Milky Way. The difference is there's... <laughs> oh. <laughs> I read ahead, but this is funny. Jeff, this one might have redeemed you. Astronomers find a galaxy similar to the Milky Way. The difference is, is there's a thin layer of peanuts on top. <laughs> that sucks. It's the Snickers galaxy. <laughs> it's the Snickers galaxy. I get it. And I'm a Snickers man. I think we all know that. That's yep. candy. <laughs> That's candy. It's candy. It is candy. Jeff, <laughs> so Jeff, those were yours. Mm-hmm. And uh well your your first joke sucked. It's all right. And uh because you wrote it all wrong, but your last joke was good and your middle jokes were okay. I'm gonna have to give you but and I'm a loose grader. So sure. I'm, gonna you, I'm gonna have to give you a three and a half out of five lettermans on this. Okay. I'll take three and a three and a half, three point five lettermans. That's you're down a point from last week, but hey. Still pretty good. As long as I'm staying above this three, you know, I, I feel comfortable with my uh, my Letterman amount. Yeah. Well, now we're up. To, well, yeah, above three is good. Sure. Uh, we're up. We're on to your your cousin sent in more. We only had one from your cousin last week. It made absolutely zero sense. We well, sent he and sent he, two this week, and one of them didn't make any sense. I could. I had a hard time figuring. Well, it was a Q and A. I have three. Oh no, one of them's okay. One of them's a punchline, I guess. I think it's a whole. It's all a thing. It's all one whole thing. It's all one whole thing. So read it as such. Okay. And, uh, let's see if he can land this plane. All right. Well, <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. This plane's going down in flames, baby. <laughs> if, if I landing, think I know where it's headed. If, if landing a plane came down to me reading, we're all dead. Mm-hmm. Uh, President Trump said the great flu pandemic of 1917 ended the Second World War because too many soldiers got sick. Later, Trump would double down that tragedy in Beirut was intended in a. T- Later, Trump would double down that the tra- oh, that the tragedy in Beirut was in it was an intended attack. This time adding, it was an attack perpetrated by Genghis Khan. Damn you, Khan! <laughs> well, never, I will never let you get away with this. Trump is now adding this build a wall slogan to protect against the Mongol horde. <laughs> I get it. I get, I get it. You get it? Yeah, because like 1917, Second World War, not same time. <laughs> right. right. Beirut was not attacked by Genghis Khan because they weren't at the same time. Mm-hmm. Damn you, Khan, from Star Trek, for right. fun. Mm-hmm. For fun. And, and protects it against the Mongol hordes. That's why they built the Great Wall of China. Well, yeah. I mean, it's like a quilt. <laughs> yeah. Of, yeah. Of if someone content. was like, you know, I think that your act is a lot like a quilt. I would punch them in the mouth. It's like a funny content quilt. Like he's, it's all worked in. It's humorous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's much better than last week, mm-hmm. which I think I gave him a zero last week. I think, I mean, I think everyone's getting better, you know? And I'm going to give him a two this week. He gets two. A two. Yeah. Two Letterman's, two out of five Letterman's. Jeffy's your family. <laughs> <laughs> what do you give him? I mean, honestly, in my head, I was thinking of 1.5. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. <laughs> hey, if he keeps sending them in, I mean, he's, his score keeps going up. You gave him a one last week. You give him a 1.5 this week. He keeps going up. He's getting it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The best, the best way to get better is practice, baby. We all know that. 
The other one had a, uh, it was like a, there's like a Q and a act out element. And I got nervous about you reading it. So I only put this one in. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't put me in like an acting situation. I think that would be all. I think, Oh man, I almost effed, but I didn't, Yeah, you I, got, I would mess that up real bad. All right. So we have two more people. We got to get it going. Cause we got to get to our travel correspondent, Dave Vagnetti, who's Arguably the best part of the show every week. Uh -huh. um, and this one comes from, these are from Alex Taubin. A man wins 200000 while waiting for his mom at the store. However, locals aren't buying it. As one lady said, that's Jarrell, the orphan gambling addict. <laughs> these are, he sends in very Norm McDonald-y ones. Yeah, and one, and one of them he actually put in parentheses. Uh, this is a very Norm McDonald joke. Yeah, I liked that one though. Mm -hmm. A uh, woman celebrates her 103rd birthday by getting first tattoo. When asked what she was going to do for her 104th, heroin. <laughs> heroin jokes today. Yeah, this is a very heroin heavy episode. <laughs> yeah, hair on, hair on to the dog. What do we, uh... oh, Jeff, I'll let you go first. What are you going to give him on his, on his, he, two jokes. What are you going to give him on his um, scale of five, or zero to five lettermans? I'll give, I'll give him a, I'll give him a two, I'll be, you know, I'll give him a, Two Letterman's, two point five. We'll go two point five. I was going to give them a three. I thought these were pretty good. They didn't make me like laugh out loud, but I thought structurally they were good jokes. You're a man of structure. That's why every like every house you build got a strong foundation. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You're damn right there is. <laughs> <laughs> we do. All we right, do have some scores from the chat. If we got a sec. Oh There's yeah, what's the chat scoring? All right. Well, the chat scored a uh, 3.5 for Jeff and some threes. So we're going to give it a 3.3 on Twitch. Uh, okay. Your cousin got all twos and a 2.5 <laughs> for quitting and or quilting. <laughs> uh, I can't read either, Tim. Uh, and also uh, everybody else is a one so far. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty good. I like that. Well, chat, we've got one more for you. And it is. The king of the slams, slam town, mm -hmm. Chicago comedian, Nate Burroughs sent in two, or is it just one? He sent in two. He sent in three, but one of them he'd sent before. And I was oh, like, hey, okay. I, I, you can't be sneaking in a, an old one, Nate. <laughs> it was the it was the George Washington Carver one. Remember that oh, one? We've only done five episodes. I know. He's already repeat material. <laughs> During the winter when a storm is about to hit, I turn on the news and yell at the TV, hey, weatherman, my two to three inches be causing traffic delays too? Then I go to a busy intersection and flash cars my tiny penis. <laughs> Damn it. I hate it when they get me. They make it seem like I have a really small penis, which I do, but I don't need, <laughs> I don't need everybody hearing about it. It's a long way to go for a small penis, but hey. <laughs> You think of you short. This girl, that's what this girl said when she drove 45 minutes to have sex with me. Um, <laughs> Long way to go for a tiny penis. Yeah. <laughs> July never sits right with me. A month with words Jew and lie in it. Who created this month? The IRS, LOL, he wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, th here's the thing. If anyone writes LOL on their own joke, it always gets me. Yeah, I, I do. It. Yep. And Nate, Nate put this in, put these in here to make me say these things. Mm -hmm. And he's going to message me later. He's going to be like, you said my jokes, didn't you? And I'm going to have to be like, yeah. And I'm also going to have to give him a 3.5 Letterman's on him. I liked him a lot. You give it a 3.5? 3.5. Jeff, what do you think? I'll give him, I'll give him a, you know, I'll give him a, a three. Three Letterman's. Three Letterman's? Yeah. Jay, in the chat, have we, do we have we, anyone? We, we look like we're getting a solid four over here. Four Four's from me. Oh, that's Twitch, pretty good. Twitch, Twitch is loving them. Unbelievable. I think they He's like getting... small penises too. Yeah, well, <laughs> sounds right for Twitch. Um, <laughs> well, now we have to get we have to get to the most beloved part of the show. Oh yeah, this is. Uh, I mean, have, both of our this is our favorite part. We've been we've been getting money from the government, and all we've been doing is spending it to send this man around the world to travel go to different countries and tell us about those countries. And today he is in Greenland. Yeah. $600 well, a week. We were just, we were just ship it straight to Dave. Our federal, our federal unemployment money is just making Dave. Dave's going <laughs> everywhere. It's David Vagnetti 
He's in Greenland. Dave, are you there? Are you there in Greenland, Dave? Yeah, I'm in Greenland. Oh. <laughs> hey, Dave. Hey, hey, guys. All right. Wow. How is Greenland? What? How is it? How is it in Greenland? It's okay. It's a lot like Iceland, but colder. <laughs> oh, it's um, colder. Yeah. So we're going back to this well already. That's nice. <laughs> Well, you Dave. sassy, you sassy turd. <laughs> I'm tired. I haven't slept in like days. It's 24 hours sunlight here right now. Really? Jesus. Yeah. So what are you doing with all this extra extra daylight? Uh, just walking around, going to see glaciers. Cool. <laughs> That's cool. What, how many glaciers have you seen? I'm going to say like at least 10. I don't know if they're taking me back to the same one every day. I can't tell. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I can see. It's a scam out there in Greenland. I think. Yeah, they got just one big glacier, and they keep spray painting it a different color every day. Yeah, or they take me to a different side of it. Oh no, it's kind of fun to go yeah. inside of it. You get lost. Oh, you went inside. Yeah, I went inside. Yeah, they have like glacier caves. Really? Did you did you find anything in these glacier caves? It's ice. <laughs> yes, yeah, stupid. What do you think it was going to be? I'm sure there's in stuff it? inside the ice. I'm sure there's prehistoric like bacteria in that ice. I'm not getting too close to it. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jeff was just in a bacteria river, Dave. He cut himself. He's probably going to have sepsis or something. Yeah, yeah I'll man, miss you not, guys. You got to get a tetanus shot. I know. So Dave, so you Dave, just walk around in a t-shirt, huh? Well, right now, uh, yeah, right now it's not too bad. It's uh, it's about what midnight right now. So the sun's at like pretty high right now. So it's pretty warm. <laughs> have you been tanning uh, i have been tanning you want to take what? that shirt off prove it to us uh sure <laughs> 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 oh my god oh dave damn yeah i knew dave put it back on <laughs> sun's out guns out look at you dave yeah wow i mean it's all that walking yeah and there's have no you... roads here there's no roads really yeah, it's all you have to either take a plane, snowmobile, boat, or dog sled. What have you been taking the most? Dog sled. Tell me about it. Uh, well, they, that's uh, just a bunch of like dogs taking around on a sled. It's kind of fun. Yeah. yeah. Do you get to pet these dogs? No, they're not treated as pets. They're treated as work animals. Really? Yep. There's only one type of dog in the whole country. What's that? It's basically like a like a husky wolf, closer to a wolf. A wolf oh. or a wolf? Wolf. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a husky wolf. A yeah. husky wolf. Okay. Yeah. Sure. And you can't That's... pet it. You gotta you gotta pay them a what a minimum wage. Yeah, it's it's pronounced well, like you give them room and board. It. Sure. <laughs> they get room and board. <laughs> you pronounce you pronounce wolf up there like you buy it on a t-shirt from a gas station. Yeah. Well, basically, Greenland is like the like redneck version of Iceland. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Have you ran into like, the people? What was that? Have you ran into any of the people? The people? Yeah, people are nice. They don't like being called Inuits. <laughs> Did you immediately call them Inuits and that's why yeah. they got to you? And I was like, what's up, Inuits? And they're like, don't call us that. Yeah, that makes sense. And then you try to pet a dog and you get yelled at now. You can't too many rules. Yeah, not a big fan of Greenland, huh? Not a fan of Greenland. I like again. I just it's cold. I like it's not bad. Yeah, the food's great. Is there marijuana there? Because it's Greenland. Uh, no, it's actually cool thing about fun fact about Greenland. It's not that cool. It's like uh, apparently the Vikings told other Vikings that Greenland was actually covered in trees to fool them. Oh, yeah, but no, they did it to trick them. It's so it's it's been a big trick. Yeah, there are a bunch of con men up here. <laughs> so the original Vikings sent a bunch of other Vikings up there, and they were like, hey, dumbasses, yeah. go check out Greenland. Yeah, so like, wear just a t-shirt, and then they get here, and they're like, oh, it's cold. We can't fight. Do you have, uh, do you, you do a good Viking impression, Dave. Can you do a Viking impression for us? Yeah, all right, um. Hey, I'm a Viking. I'm going to travel to your town and do stuff. <laughs> Come to your town and do stuff. Damn, that's scary as hell. Well, I didn't want to say what they do. I don't want to perpetuate. That? They pillage um, and then they R do things. People. They are word people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a bad look. Yeah. Yeah. 
I like I liked how you changed it all to things. Yeah. Yeah. Cosby did things. Cosby did things. <laughs> <laughs> Dave is a very... <laughs> <laughs> you really gloss it up nice, huh? <laughs> hey, I, I there's kids probably watching. I don't need them to know about what's going on in the world. Sure. Yeah, they'll learn they'll learn the they'll learn. What yeah, uh, learn it the hard way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dave, we don't want them to learn it the hard way. <laughs> Jesus. Dave, Dave. Okay, maybe not the hard way, but not the easy way either. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> Dave, you guys I, up next we went our- down a path that I shouldn't have started. Yeah. Uh, so have you, have you been in any planes, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> any plays? Any planes? No planes. I've been taking a boat and then basically a dog sled. Okay. Are that's you where you get game? most of your food is the water. So you have to take the boat to get your food. Oh, yeah. Dave, what kind of food are you talking? Well, uh, their main, their national dish is a soup called a uh, susat. Which is oh. whale, seal, and seabird meat. Really? Yeah. How was it? Delicious, but the emotional damage that caused you from killing a seal and a whale, not not worth it. But you didn't uh, care about the seabird. No, seabird, no. So you're fine with the seabird, but that See, whale and the, the seal gave you some PTSD, but the soup was good. Yeah, the soup wasn't bad. And uh, seal on its own is delicious. Up here, they call uh, they call seal puse. <laughs> Do they? Yeah, p u i s i puse. Do they have any w a p up there? I don't get that reference. Whale and puse. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess wet, they do. Yeah, wet ass seal. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, uh, Dave, I heard you're going to get some drinks tonight with a young lady. Is that true? Yeah, I met a lady, uh, again, uh, dancing underneath the uh, northern lights. Sure. <laughs> yeah, the man They do man. that here. And, uh, yeah, I, we met her. I was like, hey, I'm from out of town. Uh, would you like to get drinks? And she was like, sure, I would like to get drinks. Sure. Sounds like a guy, but go are on. You, well, the are women you are bigger here. Yeah, sure. Are you paying for the drinks or are you splitting the check? What are we doing? How much of a gentleman are you? Uh, we're going Dutch. Dutch. Yeah. I love that move. Because technically, Greenland is a part of Denmark. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Of course, Jeff likes the move of going Dutch, the cheapest man I've ever met. I think it's fair. <laughs> On a Jeff first goes, meetup with drinks, go Dutch. Yeah. And if anything, we might just grab like a six-pack of mead and go sit by the ocean, watch the glaciers. Beautiful. Mead again? What? Drinking mead again? Mead again, yeah. Again, this is just a repeat, basically, of Iceland, but a little bit colder. <laughs> <laughs> well good dave it was great having you thank you very much i hope you enjoy your night out with this lady and i know i know last time you told us when the at night when the uh sky twinkles so do my toes and i know you're always going to be dancing under those northern lights is there anything uh is there a last uh thought you want to give the viewers uh just uh the whatever the motto that a lot of uh greenlanders say um this is what they say a lot uh, where we're going, we don't need roads. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, because, they, because they don't have roads there, and they say that a lot. Right. Well, yeah, you get old that. after, like, the fifth time. Yeah. Dog sleds, you don't need a road. So yeah, yeah you don't need a road. I'm like, okay there, Jasper. I'm like, <laughs> Doc Brown, cut it out. <laughs> All right. Well, well thank you, Dave. <laughs> thank you, Dave. Uh, we'll send you somewhere not like Iceland or Greenland next week. So. Yeah, we'll send you somewhere wild next week. Yeah, let's go wild next week. Let's All mix right. it up. Yeah, oh. we're going to put a lot of money into next week, and you're going somewhere. It's going to be wild, Dave. Yeah, we're right, gonna I look forward Brooke, to it. We're going to send you with Brooke Burke. Brooke Burke? Oh, who's that? The chick from Wild On. Remember Wild On on E? I, I remember the one with Tara Reed. Yeah, she was after Tara Reed when Tara Reed fell apart. All right, old man. All right. All right I, I'll talk for hours about Tara <laughs> Reed. Don't get me started. All right. All right, guys. Dave. Great See talking you, to you. See you next week. See you guys. Week. Oh, boy. Dave's having – Dave, is, he's a little, uh, a little upset that he had to go to the same type of place with Greenland and Iceland there, huh? Yeah, I know. He's a little upset that we send him around the world. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he didn't like how he was still in a cold spot. <laughs> Dave's our guest here. 
<laughs> oh boy. I don't you know, I'm not sure. Did you you send the link, my man? Hey. Oh, there she is. There she is. Connect right, to audio. Gentlemen, we have a very special guest tonight. She is the queen of fitness on Instagram. She is one of the funniest comedians in New York. Everybody, please welcome Karen Feehan to the show. Karen, you're Karen, muted. Karen, hello. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, I was muted. It's my first Zoom show. Of um, course. <laughs> Just kidding. It's done a lot of. How have you been, Karen? Just an idiot. I've been really good. I'm good. I have. Um, I'm sorry, I was a couple minutes late, you guys. I know you run a tight ship over here. Oh yeah, yeah. as you can see, it's real tight. You know. <laughs> but Jeff's, Jeff's holding a pen to his mouth like he's thought of something once. Yeah, I like to think I'm the. Uh, who's that one guy? Dennis Miller. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like a pipe. It looks like a corn cob pipe. That's what I thought it was for a minute. And I was yeah. like, I, is this a special segment where Jeff tells stories from his past and about the kids under his bed or whatever? Mm-hmm. You know yep. what? Stories from, Je- stories from Jeff past involve him being 17 and dating a 14-year-old. Hey, oh. we've all been there. Oh, we have. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rural lifestyle. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> So, so Karen, this is, a tra- this is a travel podcast. Have you ever been? We're talking about Greenland today. Have you ever been to Greenland? I have. I have not. I hate to disappoint. I'm very uh, sorry, man. Yeah. Not one of our not one of our guests has ever been to anywhere we've brought up yet. Yeah. Why don't, you, why don't you plan ahead and set them up for success a little bit? I don't know. I've been <laughs> to Paris. You've been to Paris. I've been yeah. to Paris too. Oh, How was they that? Connect over Paris. <laughs> I had a great time in Paris. I was in high school, but my teacher was cool, so she let us drink. It was before I knew I was an alcoholic, so I was just like wine with every meal. I was 16. It was awesome. Oh, and yeah. I got shushed so many times when I was in Paris. I kept They kept coming to the table and being like, sir, you're too drunk and American. Can you please be quiet? <laughs> and I was like, I'm trying. C'est toi. Yeah, so you got all wind up. Did you get loud in Paris or you just what? We're just a 16 year old all wind up. How was it? You know what I did? My mom told me I could spend a thousand dollars on a prom dress. She was being very generous. Oh, now, I um, was very good at French, very good at English, not so good at math. And when I went there, <laughs> not to give my age away or anything, but they were still using francs. And it was oh, like, oh, yeah. 6.7 francs to every dollar. I remember that. But okay. I tried on a dress that cost upwards of $60,000 and I thought it cost only, you know, $6,000 or something. <laughs> yep. So I tried it on. I tried to buy it with my mother's credit card. I handed it to the woman. Luckily, it got declined. It made it go through. <laughs> And then I get back to the States and I see the dress on like the cover of a Cosmo magazine. I was like, mom, I tried that on. I tried to buy it. She's like, are you fucking retarded? And she's like, oh. <laughs> that was, that was, yeah, I'm not good at math. And I really, I should stop at buying all these stocks. I have no idea what I'm doing. Are you buying stocks? I Tim, guess. <laughs> I was up, Karen, I was up $6,000 the other day and it all went away very quickly. That's crazy to me. Like that gives me so much anxiety. I w- I'm financially ruined now. Yeah, You terrifying. were bragging that you made, that you were like up like 50K or something the last time I saw you. You're like, oh. <laughs> Yeah. How much is that in francs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 6,000, that would have been 36,000. No, it would have been like 38,000 francs. All right. Old Rain Man over here. Uh, <laughs> I know you're so smart. You can yeah. multiply times six. Karen, you can do math, but he can't lot. keep money. Karen, you've been traveling a lot to Cape Cod this summer and to the beach. Mm-hmm. I've been going. I've been taking a lot of staycations. Mm-hmm. I should start a travel blog just about the hotels with pools in New York and specifically Brooklyn, actually. Because I've stayed at the William Vale now three times and the um, one hotel in Brooklyn. The, the one ho- Wait, the one hotel, is that the one that's right by the Pulaski Bridge? It's near, I don't no. know if that's the Pulaski Bridge, but I think it's the Brooklyn Bridge. Okay, then never mind. I'm thinking of the way wrong thing. Wow. Are you thinking of the Box Hotel? Yes. Yes, that looks nice too, but I don't know if they have a pool. 
No, I don't think so. I just get, I just knew it was a three letter word and I can't really read. So I just guessed it if that was the one. <laughs> you do your best. So, which, so you do pools, you just look for, you go for a pool spot. Yeah. And there's, I mean, if people want to know these facts, there mm -hmm. are facts like the William Vale, only one side with the pool area gets sun all day, but they let you reserve <laughs> these other shitty fucking sides. Like they on a terrace side where there's no sun, no pool. They really try to bamboozle you. Boozle you, so be on the lookout for that, everyone. All right, scammers side, over there. Well, we shouldn't say we shouldn't say which side gets all the sun, should we? So because people will be clamoring to go to the William Vale. <laughs> you our, can our fan, rent. You our can fan base like has a lot of money. <laughs> what? You can rent a day bed at the William Vale, and it's your bed the whole day, right? Eight a.m. to eight p.m. You don't have to stay there that whole time. I hope you don't. That's too long at the pool. Sure. You how long is this day? How much is this day bit? It's probably like 200 or 200. Yeah. Like 200 bucks. Woo -wee. Woo -wee. That's, not that, that's not that bad really compared to like Vegas prices. That's cheap compared to Vegas prices. Oh, well, good. Vegas is like $500 for like a day bet all day. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it's like, to me, it's worth it because then you don't have any riffraff bothering you, you know? <laughs> You can choose which day bed you want. So you're like not near any children or Puerto Ricans. It's like <laughs> you can do. I'm sorry, but Puerto Ricans in a fucking hotel pool are the worst type of person. They're awful. <laughs> this guy, no go mask. Off, queen, go off. Yeah, you know, go like, off. <laughs> no mask, covered in tattoos, hammered at 1.30 p.m. I'm talking blackout. You can tell he's peeing every second he goes in the pool. He's fucking peeing. There's a bathroom right there. He's walking up to people with babies. He's like, fucking USA. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, get out of here. I'm like, How did this guy, unless he sold drugs, like afford this fucking day bed? I hate him. <laughs> well, all those tattoos cost a lot of money, too. Yeah, he's yeah. got my tats. Yeah, but they were like old. You could tell, like he got them like when the getting was good. You know, he's well. That was the thing you invited. You invited. I think you mostly invited Micah, and then put me in there as a nice thing. Correct. Uh, but I was like, Micah was like, if we go to the pool, I'd be like, if we go, they'll be like, go ahead, ma'am, and they'll be like, sir, just leave, get out of here. We don't need your fat body grossing everybody out of our pool. <laughs> Swimming in jean shorts. <laughs> no, I just like, I'm like, I, I keep forgetting that like, we're like in a pandemic or whatever. So I was like, I told the pool people, I was like, I rented a day bed. I'm just going to have like eight to 10 of my closest friends come hang out all day. Is that okay? And they were like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. They were like, you can have one guest. And I was like, um, I told them, I was like, oh, but I already invited them on Instagram. They're like, we don't care. <laughs> that doesn't matter. I feel like I feel like at the William Vale pool they've heard, but I already invited them on Instagram. I lot. know, I know. <laughs> I was like, you're, I'm swimming around with fucking cartel guy over here. Like, <laughs> yeah. I got, I got people with a blue check mark coming. <laughs> right. <laughs> What's yeah. the other pools? Do you do the other pools? So the other pool is at the one hotel that's a beautiful view of the Brooklyn Bridge. Oh. Now, the way they do it is much different. It's first come, first serve. People are lined up on that roof deck at 6.45 a.m. I kid you not. Ooh. I got up there at 6.45. I was fourth in line. This fucking guy cut me, and I took his video, and I will never forget his face <laughs> or what he was wearing. I hate him so much. I told on him. I, if I should have said it in a moment. But he cut two people and this fucking goofball beta behind me doesn't say anything. He doesn't care that we're getting fucking it probably, cut. It was probably Sheen. <laughs> yeah, it was probably I was there. <laughs> it was Sheen had on like goggles and like a snorkel thing. I'm like, dude, where it's a hotel pool. I'm like, get a grip. <laughs> So, but so you had to line up at six, but you get up early anyway, so that's not a problem for you. I'm fine. I have my dog with me. I also only go to pet friendly hotels, so I have my dog with me. And then I finally get up, and I told the chick who was taking the reservations, I'm like, that guy in the red shorts who just reserved for four people, he cut me, and he cut him. Just so you know, she's like, what? I can't. Well, I was like, I know you can't do anything, but I need to talk about it. I'm <laughs> 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 just like scared that woman for no reason. But at that pool, you get to reserve a two-hour block, and that's it. So, you, and you have to be a guest at the hotel. So no matter what, even if you're staying for two, three, four nights, say you spend up to a grand, you're still only getting a two hour block at that pool max. 
So you have to choose wisely. I typically prefer a 10 a.m. to a nooner. Then I don't get too much drunken riffraff gooby gabas, you know, and I get right. in and I get on with my day. You got your real like tanorexics, not hating. I get it. <laughs> They're going to want that 12 to two spot so they can just literally singe their epidermis off. <laughs> and I, that's fine. But, you know, and then you got the fucking, oh, I'll take the six to eight block. Retard it. Like, uh, it good. <laughs> good. Just like be outside and step in a puddle, you fucking peasant. Like, you don't get <laughs> <We're not doing laughs> it. Woo wee. <laughs> Dude, I, got no, one, I got one word to describe this conversation. Informative. I didn't know all this stuff. <laughs> I never heard tanorexic. Tanorexic is good. That's good, fun. Man. What a, I'm recovered. What, so, <laughs> so I'm gonna guess. I'm just gonna guess that you recommend the William Vale pool over the Hotel One pool. Yes and no. There's pluses and minus in minus and um, minus and. <laughs> The William Vale, more children. There were still some at the One Dumbo. The problem with the One Dumbo is aesthetically, and when you look at the pictures, it's gorgeous. It's like um, a 45 degree angle, infinity pool, city skylines, you know? Mm -hmm. And you get there and it's three feet deep and you're like, is this Spa Castle? Where am I? Like, <laughs> is, only is three? this a fountain? Like, I'm like looking for pennies. I'm like, what? It's not a big <laughs> pool, it's a small pool. For my brother's for my brother's twenty first birthday, we rented a day bed uh, at the topless pool at the uh, Mirage because we're cool guys. It was just a bunch of bros cool. hanging out at the topless pool. We brought no chicks. That's how you know that we're cool. So you just came as a group in the hopes to see breasts. Yeah, of course. We were. I was like twenty four. My brother yeah. was twenty one. You know, I was yeah. with my friend Andrew. He likes to look at titties. So right. We're there. My brother ends up hooking up with one of the girls, but Andrew and I got so the pool was two and a half feet deep. And Andrew and I got so drunk that they told us we weren't allowed in the pool anymore because it was a hazard that we would drown. <laughs> <laughs> I told him, I go, I'll just turn over and breathe while laying on the bottom. And he goes, No, nah, man, we can't have you in here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd be trying to dive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys, for the fifth time, stop racing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, you, went, you went to a topless pool with just a bunch of dudes, and one of you actually hooked up. Yeah. I'm wow. sorry you're a little, you're, you're, I mean, we, we had been reading that book by, um, you know, the pickup artist. We'd been reading that. Oh, yeah. We, we, I was, we, getting, I was getting cut in line on. <laughs> I was out there. I was like, "Did you see that fight over there? Ooh, are those your tits?" And they'd be like, "Oh my god, you're so hot." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, pool are fun. I know Tim needs. To, I'm saying he needs to throw an above ground pool in that backyard. Absolutely. <laughs> Why not, Karen? What do you think? Do you think we should get cornhole in the backyard? Yeah. I told Mike, I was like, I'm going to get you a slip and slide so you guys can exfoliate your bodies on that concrete. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is that is real. I, I haven't fallen yet, but I know I will this summer and I'm going to hurt myself bad. Uh, yeah, definitely cornhole. What else can you get? A trampoline so I can come over and bounce and see up in that hot guy's window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Do, uh, did Mike tell you that he, he came up with a woman that looked very yeah. similar to you? Yeah, I know. We're a dime a dozen. I'm like, how, how can you tell she was a cunt by looking at her? <laughs> <laughs> but that guy, Chloe, Jeff's girlfriend, Chloe, invited him over and I had to yell at her to not invite people that <laughs> when it's not her house. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wait, how hot was this guy? He's pretty hot. And he has an accent. Abs? I don't know. I haven't seen him with his shirt off. Mike, have you seen him with his shirt off? Yes. Oh, does he have abs? <laughs> I didn't know Mike was there. <laughs> Mike is working out. Is she really? Don't bother yeah. her then. No, she's it. She's taking a break right now. Getting hot, uh, trying to try to impress that hot guy. Yeah, she was laughing. She was laughing too hard at your rant about the pools and had to quit uh, working. Know, I'm like, yeah, she's not kidding. She's not getting those abs to keep you, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Listen, I don't like when the guy talks to her because he every time he comes down. When Mike is out and he's like, oh, hey, you know, he's talking to her a lot. And then I come outside and he's like, oh, got to go. And I'm like, all right, I see the game that's being played here. Yeah. Oh, what's shit. up with that? That's hot is what it is. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. 
He's pretty good looking. I, I mean, I'd let him come over and bang Mike if she wanted him to, which she does. So I don't know. No, she doesn't. She's so in love and devoted to you. Are you crazy? You're sitting yeah, in front of a stupid. painting of her cat, you cuck. <laughs> <laughs> the, only, the only person that outranks me in the house is the cat. I know. <laughs> All right, Karen, I, I did, forgot to tell you this, but we do trivia on this oh, show. Right. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we do, yeah. We're we do, we're doing Greenland trivia today, and uh, if you win trivia, you get to plug, you get to plug your Instagram and your Twitter and whatever else you got going on. And if you lose, my Instagram is gonna lift this episode. You <laughs> I get to fucking promote it. <laughs> and then yep. you, we're gonna make it, somebody. Lose, <laughs> and, and if you lose, you get to promote nothing. <laughs> Okay, but I know nothing is, about Greenland. I know nothing about Greenland. Well, guess what? Neither does Sheen. So it'll be yep. it's you versus Sheen. I'm okay. going to read the question, and uh, it's a uh, multiple choice. And uh, if you want to ring in, you just say your name. Why so do you, you always? Your, what? <laughs> why don't you always? Why don't you ever just switch it to Buzz? Like you always make people say their name. <laughs> I'm used to saying my name. Hi, my name's Karen. I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Dang. all right home run <laughs> listen this is why uh, okay all right you guys ready yeah. yeah all right so our first question the name what does the name greenland mean a land of the people b green land c beautiful land d lush country karen yes <laughs> Uh, I have no idea. I just want to be the first one to buzz in. Okay. Um, it was A, land of the people, B, green land, C, bountiful land, or D, lush country? D, lush country. Final that, answer. That's wrong. Oh, that's going to be my guess. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm going to go. go <laughs> I'm just going to wait for you to screw up, but I sweep in. Damn it. I'm going to go C. That's wrong, too. It's Dang. A, the land of the people. Both, zero, zero. Land of the people. Greenland's a bunch of stupid people. Yeah. Who don't know how to name their own fucking country. Right? How about foster the people? Yeah. Jeff. That was like, yeah. what is that? Yeah. I remember that band, though. They were, like, hot. When were they hot? Like, 2012? <laughs> like, three or four years ago. <laughs> oh, I don't. I have no concept of time. All right. Yeah. Question two. How much of Greenland is covered in ice? A, 50%, B, 60%, C, 30%, or D, 80%. But Jeff. Karen. <laughs> Jeff got it. Jeff got I'm, it. I'm going to go D. Jeff, that's correct. Dude. You got one. Yes. Jeff, one. Karen, zero so far. Yeah. There's a lot of ice, right? How much of it? 80%, 80. of it is all. Yeah. It's almost totally covered in ice. What is Greenland's population? Oh, you just A, 100,000. Right B, 76,000, C, 56,000, or D, 210,000? Karen. Yes. Oh. 210,000. Nope. God damn Whoa, it. Dang. There's not enough people there. No wonder yep. they don't know how to fucking name it. That's not enough people to have a country. <laughs> we have more people in Texas. <laughs> yep. And Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, Jeff. <laughs> oh, I'll guess... Uh... A. No, it was C, 56,000. Ah, oh, stupid. Hey, Jeff, you're so stupid. Dang, whatever. I'm, so, I'm up one point. You'll never get a huge social media bump. <laughs> 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 All right. The ice sheet in Greenland is how old? This is the ice that covers Greenland. How old is it? Between 400 and 800,000 years old? Between yep. 100 and 200,000 years old? <laughs> Okay. A million years old sure. or 50,000 to 100,000 years old? Karen. Yes. <laughs> what, uh, what was the one that wasn't a million, but the next highest? 400 to 800,000? Yeah. That's correct. It's now oh, one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. what? Whoever That's gets called who, multiple choice. <laughs> context, hey. Good testing. Whoever gets. Whoever gets this last question right wins. Oh yeah! And if you guys if you guys tie, I have no other questions, so it'll just be a tie, like communist. You, have, you didn't know tiebreakers? No, well, I'll guess it. I'll do a number in my head. 
I have a heart right, out uh, at eight, remember? <laughs> the, <laughs> you and this the, number in your head concerns me. <laughs> the, the religion of Greenland is A, Catholic, B, yeah. Norse, C, Muslim, or D, Lutheran. <clears throat> what was the second one? Norse. Like okay. Norse gods, yes. Norse. Wrong. Fuck. Uh, I, yeah. get it. I bet it's Lutheran. Is that your guess? Yeah, I'm gonna guess Lutheran. Catholic. Damn, Jeff got it. <laughs> but yep. guess what, Karen? We don't hold up to any hey, rule Jeff, here. Can you plug my OnlyFans? <laughs> you, can plug, you, can, you can plug whatever you want. We, since the show's run by Jeff and he's a backstabbing coward, we don't hold to any of our rules. Yeah, I'll, I'll flip on anything. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm we just we try to make we try to make the uh, we try, we try to make it competitive. Mm-hmm. Well, but, the gift used to be a, a trip for two to the, the little country you were talking about. Oh, yeah. We used to pay for a trip for two, a romantic vacation to any yeah. country we were talking about. We're in debt really? thousands. <laughs> yeah. No, of course not. <laughs> Thank God yeah. COVID happened. We were we were hemorrhaging cash. I <laughs> bet. I'm like, how is this returning? Like, what I don't understand. Karen, what, do, what would you like to plug if you have any plugs? Uh, uh, you're welcome for following me on Instagram already. <laughs> <laughs> Is it no, at, I, it's at Karen K E R R Y N F E E H A N? Good speller. He's a yeah. if nothing else, he's a good speller. Because you're right before it. <laughs> right before the show, I typed in all your stuff so that they could put it in the chat. Wow. <laughs> oh, fun. Profesh. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I am um, often on the radio and um, I'm at the stand a lot until the city shuts us down, I guess. Well, that's good. The stand over in Union Square. You got it. Well, that's good. Karen, thank you very much for joining us. Jeff, do you yeah, have you, this? Karen. Is it easy? Get it, get it, because you're at the, you got to get to the stand soon, right? Uh-huh. I do. I do. I have to get there by 8 30. So I'm fine. And everything oh, will okay. work out. Everything will work out. I appreciate you guys getting me out, though. And thank you for having me. I learned a lot. Um, And some of it I'm going to try to forget. (laughs) (laughs) I learned a lot about Puerto Ricans at the pool that I'll never forget. Yeah. You got notes and everything. (laughs) They're awful. It's awful. (laughs) (laughs) Jeff, do you have anything to plug? Just check out our YouTube page. The The Worldly Worldly Show Show with with Jeff Jeff and Tim Tim on YouTube. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, we put up clips. I put up clips. I try to put up clips like twice to three times a week. And then we put up our, we put up this show. If you missed anything, you can see this show. I put the whole thing up on Mondays on YouTube. And then uh, we're on iTunes and Spotify now, this whole show. And uh, we're going to hire some type of publicist to get our, get the word out about our show. So I'll do it. I'll do it. We'll do it. All right. Yeah. I'm going to publish this. What's the name of this podcast? The Worldly Show with Jeff and Tim. Hey, welcome back to The Worldly Show with Jeff and Tim. I'm the new publicist, Karen Fian. Follow me on Instagram. (laughs) (laughs) Beautiful. That's all we need, baby. Yep. (laughs) Thanks for having me. I'm leaving. Of course. See you, Karen. (laughs) (laughs) That was it, Tim. That's it. And then uh, you can follow Jeff on everything at New York Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm at hot underscore comic 69 on Instagram. And uh, this show every Thursday, every week, Thursday, Twitch, come back. That's goodbye. Uh... Jeff, quit smelling your armpit. That was a good show. That was good. Yeah, it was a good show.